Keep the party going. The Disney 100 celebration continues with Disney Night on Dancing with the Stars. Watch and vote live. A new outdoor art display in New Bern is getting mixed reactions. What the artist hopes it will accomplish and the response he's getting from some people in the community. I'm Christine Frizzell with a look at the latest from Israel, with attacks on Gaza, and why some are warning of World War III. From WCTI, this is News Channel 12 at 11, Weekend Edition. A Swiss photographer has been snapping photos of people in New Bern since 2006. You'll see those photos mounted up driving down Broad Street. Biliana Garland joins us now with why some say this is just art, but others feel the photos don't make a good representation of the community. The exhibit has been up for less than a week, and it's already igniting some conversation. Michael Von Grafen Reed created a book filled with 140 photos of people in New Bern. Only 24 of those photos are at five points on Broad Street. He says it's just documenting the moment, but critics want to understand his motivations behind taking certain pictures. I think it's also I show realities, which are perhaps you don't like so much, but you can accept them. And only if you accept them, you can work on it and make it a better life. A life-size photo album on Five Points down Broad Street draws attention and sparks discussion. We should have done a little bit more research. I think that there's a little bit better representation of our culture than some of the pictures that I see out here. Uh, but I also do understand that the gentleman who uh, took the pictures may not be from the area, maybe perhaps even a different country. Perhaps the people that he's working with could have given him a different light of what our community is actually made up of than some of the pictures I've seen. Through documentary style photography, Michael Von Grafenried wants to capture the moments of the current culture, including daily successes and struggles. I'm sure that a picture says more about the one who is looking at it than the one who has taken it. Uh, and coming into a community that already has some, uh, very, some division, uh, and then kind of coming in and the light that's been painted doesn't seem to be a positive one. Uh, and so I'm just very interested in kind of understanding what his, his thought process has been. Vaughn Graffenreid has done these projects all over the world. What drew him to New Bern was his ancestral ties who founded the city. I think I wanted to show that New Bern is not a white town. There is more. I started in the white society and I felt after five years, I felt that I missed something. I said, how can I change that? From there, Von Grafenried went to a black church to get to know the community he wasn't familiar with. I went there. I was the only white one. Everybody came, asked me what I am. I said, I'm Michael from Switzerland, Bern, and I think I missed something. Can you help me to see more of New Bern, the, the part I didn't saw? This Thursday, the Craven County Arts Council will host a Q&A session with Von Grafenried. This will be open to the public to come and ask questions. He plans on discussing his intentions with the exhibit as well as dispelling misconceptions. In the studio, Biliana Garland, News Channel 12. Well,